The problem with most of the e-bikes on the market is they look like just that. Some look homemade, but overall you can always tell that those bikes have an electric motor or a battery inside. And then this company, Vanpowers, reached out to me and they said that they had a brand new electric bike that you couldn't even tell had a motor in it. But they also did some pretty cool stuff. This thing is super lightweight. You can even pick it up with just one hand, and that's definitely not the case with most e-bikes. But they also got rid of the chain, and this thing can even go up to 50 miles. As soon as I got the box of this bike, I knew things were going to be different because look at the size of this box. Where the heck is the frame? The frame is actually in pieces. Now that sounded pretty weird to me and I used to ride a lot of bikes in the past and I didn't really like the idea of it. But once I started to look at the components, they were really well made, they're all aluminum, and you can see the way that the joints are assembled. You'll slide each piece in and then tighten two screws and it really was a solid fit. But full disclosure, there are a lot of pieces to put together and if you're not handy, this is definitely not going to be a good choice. And the main tube on the front of the bike is where the battery is located. It's pretty amazing that you can't actually see any battery connections from the outside and all those wires are routed through the frame. They also made some huge improvements with their screen. Most e-bikes you can't even read them if it's bright sunlight, but here in the middle of the day it's shining right on that screen and it's still clear and easy to read. It's also full color which really sets this thing apart. And here's what the display looks like inside or if you're going to be using the bike at night. You can control the speed setting and this is the amount of boost that the bike is going to give you while you're pedaling. Many of the components are made by other companies and in the bike world that's a really good thing. In fact these wheels are made by Kenda. They're 700c size and that's about 29 inches. And these aren't racing tires, they're not super skinny, they're going to be perfect for all around use. You can also get this bike in a bunch of different colors. The one they sent me is called Chalk Blue, but if you don't like it, they've got all black, yellow, they've even got a camo. I wasn't really the biggest fan of sliding all these tubes together, but once I did, everything fit perfectly. You're not going to find any gaps between the tubes, and once everything was locked down, this thing was rock solid. The City Vancher also features dual hydraulic brakes, and these things work perfectly. I also noticed that I didn't have any type of squeals or squeaks, and oftentimes even with disc brakes, that can be a common problem. Here's one of my favorite features, they got rid of the bike chain. That means no maintenance, you're not going to have anything to adjust. It uses a carbon fiber belt drive. Now the good news is this thing is super simple to maintain because you don't really have to do anything, but it is in fact one speed, but I found it pretty comfortable even if I didn't have any motor assist at all. The motor is located inside that rear wheel hub, and you can't even really notice that it's there, but you've got 350 watts of boost. That means anytime you're pedaling the motor will kick in and give you that extra boost so you can go up hills or just make your entire ride a lot easier. You've also got a kickstand included with the kit and that's a really handy feature to have but one thing that's missing is they didn't include any type of a headlight. The one you see in the handlebars was one I added. Now where I live I'm in the middle of the woods and I like a really bright light and I've never found any bike from the factory that even came close to what I wanted so it doesn't bother me at all to stick one of these on the handlebars. Inside is that lithium ion battery and eventually you're going to run it down. Now they say you'll get a range of around 50 miles but that's going to vary a lot depending on how many hills you go up and the amount of pedaling that you do. And recharging this bike from 0 to 100% can be done in under 3 hours. They don't include any type of a battery gauge on that display. Now that was a little bit disappointing since I figured this thing was so high tech, but you do get a simple LED on the brick, and once that thing turns green, your bike is at 100%. Now technologically this bike is really advanced, and it just looks like a regular bicycle. And that may be the reason you want to buy it, but what I liked about it was the ride itself. This thing was comfortable, easy to ride, and I liked that boost a lot more than I would have thought. It makes going up some difficult hills easier, and if you're somebody that has an injury that maybe doesn't want to use a bike, you could actually start off with this thing and keep the boost on the highest setting, and then reduce it as you increase your strength, and that might make the entire experience a little bit more enjoyable. The other awesome part about this bike is it's fast. I had no problem getting up to 25 miles an hour and that is with some pedaling and it's going to be on a straightaway, but this bike definitely has a powerful motor and if keeping up with traffic is what you want, I don't think you can have any trouble. And finally for the price, now all of these e-bikes are expensive. Now this one they wouldn't give me the exact selling price, but if you visit their page, they are going to be doing a pre-order on Indiegogo and that is also going to be a negative for some people, but eventually this bike will be on the market if you want to wait and you could purchase it down the road. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.